Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are here for the May monthly match. We're here in Veterans Park in Marion. Um, they just put this course up, so we're gonna give it a run, um, see how we play. Oh dear. Oh. Brent is currently at the winning spot for the monthly matches. He's got three right now. Um, if he can win this fourth one, it will be a quarter of the months that he's he's won. So we gotta stop him. Me and Connor gotta put the pressure on and stop him this month. Yeah, we're gonna pick out a disc from Brent's bag here and uh, see what one we pick out. <laughs> Bad the zone. <laughs> I knew this one was coming out. I had to. Um, unfortunately, this is uh, this is a really good course to take this one out because a lot of shorter holes. So I'm gonna miss you, but I uh, just kidding. <laughs> All right, we got hole one here, 248 feet. Um, they don't have tee pads here yet. Um, they plan to, I think, this summer. So, um, but I have to throw the uh, rock that we got here um, off the first hole, and uh, then I get to throw whatever I want. So. We just gotta execute this one shot, which I think this is the perfect disc for it. And uh, basket right up there between the two trees. No, wait, wait, come back. Oh, come on. A little deep, but I think that was a pretty wow. good throw. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm also going rock, DX rock. The lame rock, though. <laughs> Hopefully that's not in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the glitch. All right. Oh dear. All right, he's in that little uh, fenced in area. You're a caged animal. Yep. You're a caged animal. <laughs> All right, my strategy today, if you couldn't tell already, it's look good, play good. Look good, look good, you play good, play good, play good, play good, live good, live good, you know, eat good, die good. Um, so we're going with look good, play good. Uh, this is a shorter course, so my putting is going to have to be on in order to win this. Uh, and you guys probably know, that's my weakness. So I'm uh, I'm very confident, very confident. Look good, play good. That's the, uh, that's the strat. Oh, that's pretty good. Right, Isaac had plenty of space. No river danger there. There he is. Hole one. Hole one. Get those jitters out, huh? I think you're next. Oh, yeah. Good pot, Brent. Ah, booty! Nicely done, Isaac. All right, hole two, uh, par three, 235 feet. Uh, I think we got a couple par twos out here because uh, we got a, a few like 100 footers, but, uh, but this one, 235 feet uh, up there next to that tree. I'm gonna go with my intervention, a little forehand action, uh, see if I can get that on point today. We'll see. Not quite enough there. <laughs> it's all right though. <clears throat> Going uh, GT. Oh. What a oh, kick. Good kick. Oh, wow, that's such a bad 
videoing. <laughs> nice job. Right. My strategy for this course is going to be um, just laying up, getting a good drive, uh, laying up nice, and uh, just playing it safe. I know I've said that before, but um, I think that's my best bet to compete with the other two. Um, so we'll get at it. Okay, before Kyle throws here, we're all agreeing that the road and the river, like beyond, like if you go over to the other side of the river or the other side of the road is out of bounds, right? Correct. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. Moving forward, road and beyond is OB and river beyond is OB as well. Oh, oh, what a good, throw, what a good bid. Oh. Oh, 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 I think you're safe. All right, we're right there. Easy taps. Oh, Isaac's got us here. Football. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Couple bars on hole two here. Three. 177 feet uh, baskets right here so you got this low ceiling to deal with or you can throw kind of something up and around the tree branches there uh, I'm gonna try to do that with the razor claw this is going to be in place of my zone today so we'll see how that works out we're throwing next to these little stakes we don't know exactly where the tee pad is gonna be but probably somewhere in here so Going zone. Oh the, come on, come on. the real <laughs> zone. Looking at me, well, <laughs> cocky. I hope you hit the tree. <laughs> oh, or just go 100 long. Nah, that's actually pretty easy. Oh, a oh yeah. Annie, tap it. This isn't a good time to experiment. That'll be all right. All right guys, they are walking to hole three's basket. Um, I'm gonna tell you about my strategies. Um, today, probably just played my game. Um, hit my putts, hit my lines. Pretty much just a focus on that. It's a really short um, course here. So the only thing you can really mess up is um, not hitting your lines. So I hit my lines, make my putts, and uh, just trust my game. First of the round. There it is. Absolutely nailed it. Got to take those serious, you know. Kind of right here. Just for the satisfaction of the drop-in birdie here. Excellent shot. Nice. Hole four here, par three. 144 up there past uh, hole one's basket. Um, I'm gonna go zone forehand, kind of little light flex. Come back. Come to the light yeah, you trailer. see uh, Isaac's light forehand that goes 200 feet. Not great either. Man, this is only like 144. We should be way better at this. <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. Okay. That looks so good. Oh, just short. Oof. Kind of a tricky one there. Uh, Connor here with his tap in. We made a rule. If it's outside of five feet, you got to tap it in. So, All right. Or inside, you mean? Yeah. Inside five? Okay. Yeah. Hole five. Par two. You don't see a lot of those. Um, only 100 feet. Pretty much just jump put it in. But uh, we're going to play on this left side of this tree here. Um, forehand zone. This one's going to be light. <laughs> oh, he can't throw light. This is going to be light. This is how you just lightly throw a forehand. It's probably my full power forehand. But <laughs> you full on. power forehand, 100 feet? <laughs> oh, 
Uh, if that tree wasn't there. All right, I'm going totally different. I'm gonna go with a uh, Potter Little Annie. Almost good. Just remember, your putts are for par here, so you can't miss. <laughs> oh. Brent with the par. <laughs> Almost bogey. Almost, yeah. That was a little bit, uh, a little bit right side. <laughs> a double bogey. On a hundred oh foot goodness. hole. That, friends. I think that's a football. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hole six, par three, 162 feet. Um, this one goes up and to the right, but it does follow the river, so you gotta be mindful of that. You don't wanna kinda turn something over or uh, go a little bit high. We did a around here a little bit earlier kind of went on the other side of the river so hopefully that doesn't happen today we're gonna we're gonna see how the uh the crave does on a forehand razor claw yeah he lost the crave lost the crave and the zone and the glitch i probably would have thrown all three of those on this hole actually oh no Ooh. hit a tree and fall down that is OB, and the river is quite deep, so we'll see if we can get that one back. I'll go get a stick. <laughs> my stick, my stick, my stick is better than bacon. I'm go up the zone. All right. That's what I was trying to do. That was Ooh. pretty close. Still though, close. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Had to get a little flatter, maybe, huh? Also going zone. Oh, oh my word. I tell you what, that zone is going to be hard to replace. The razor claw does not feel anything like the zone. <laughs> All right, we're right there in the water. Um, Isaac and Connor gave me that. A little drop. A little drop there. Say so yeah, that's about where he's out. Yep. They'll have a good look at the basket. Probably laying this up for a uh, bogey. Nope. We got it. Ooh, good catch. You got a big one. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice little birdie uh, tap out here for Isaac as well. Nice job. Good recovery from that double bogey. But let's tap it. All right, hole seven, par three, 119 feet. Um, two pads right here. Uh, it's either a flex line, flex line down to the basket over there, but pretty wet passage. You don't want to go too far past. It. That's pretty good. I want my zone. <laughs> Need my zone. <laughs> Go in. Oh, oh based it. <laughs> based it like a turkey. That's right. We're going back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. Good bid. I'm just here. I'll stick in my face. Stick it in. A muddy zone. Um, Bolt eight, par three, 177. You got a double mando, but in the double mando, there's a tree. So it's almost like a double mando 
with both him sides. Double yeah. <laughs> double mando side by side. Yeah. Straight down to the right up on the hill. Make mando. Make mando. Still have a chance to make that mando. Yep. Connor laces it. Doing it. Look at that. Here here we are at Isaac's disc. <laughs> yeah, don't go too far. <laughs> I hold that thing. Remember there's a Mando right there too. <laughs> Boy, this round's been a case of the uh good hold bad hole for uh yeah, for everybody. <laughs> for everybody. We're not scoring very well on a short course here, but it's all right. Hopefully Wait it, till the back nine. It will get better. Hopefully it will get better. <laughs> Not what I'm going for. That's all right. You hit a couple tree branches. So muddy. <laughs> Pretty good birdie look here. That's what I said. I started the video later. <laughs> Pretty good birdie look. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Par bogey birdie. You bogeyed. He did. <laughs> he hit the tree. <laughs> All right, hold nine. Par three, 135 feet. Um, basket got a really low ceiling here but it doesn't say you have to go under the branch so i'm going over low ceiling got in your head didn't it isaac and brent here for a birdie look hole nine Brent has it. And so does Isaac. Oh my goodness. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I almost, I almost <laughs> come back at you. <laughs> <laughs> so Isaac's have had this happen before where it goes in and just goes right straight through and drops off. We got a whole 10 here, par three, 153 feet. If you guys ever want to play a short course, come to Marion Veterans Park here. Great one. If you're playing short or if you yeah. like putt and approach. It's kind uh, of a, a good beginner course too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hundred percent rec recycled. Oh, what a shot! Kick a tree, or kick a tree, <laughs> kick off a tree, <laughs> kick a tree, guys. Right, guys, score update. Uh, Brent is at two under. I'm at two one under. Connor's at one over. Still very close. Anything could happen. You guys obviously seen the last previous holes. Um, just any hiccups you have could just cost you cost you the hole so oh, what a nice. good run Brent go for it oh close that was only thanks to me doing it releasing too late and like pushing it yeah and, uh, i'm sorry i made you do that no, that's okay. <laughs> that was my choice to do that's true <laughs> all right hole 11 we got uh par 3 199 feet can't really see it from the basket right through the little thick of it there are brushes there hit this gap and get to the left that's all you're aiming for 
I think he hit a tree. I don't know if this is a good angle because you basically have to hit the line in order for it to see the shot, but. I don't know if this is the good, but. You know what would be really good on this hole? Zone. A zone. <laughs> I mean, the mid range glide, kind of light you know, shot, that's what we're hit the go. gap. Go with a little, little hex here. These are a little bit more stable in the glow plastic, so. Maybe a little softer throw. Be a good line. We'll yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, what a shot. Get in there. In the fairway. Almost got lucky through those yeah. first two trees. Yeah. All right, what are your thoughts on the course so far here, Connor? It's good. It's, you can definitely tell it's new. There's still debris and stuff everywhere, but it, they're still pretty cleared out. Good potential. Yeah. Yep. I feel like you can definitely see the vision here. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to be like a putt and approach course. Um, but yeah, I think, it, I think it has great potential. Um, really good. It's like right next to the fairgrounds. So like really good when people come to the, you know, the fair and the other things that are going on here. Old fashioned days. Or yeah. Old fashioned days. Yeah. All that have, stuff. They might, have, they might have a tournament here. Yeah. Wow. Stay tuned. They might have tournaments over during old fashioned days or something. We'll see. You know what? I was just thinking, you know how they say smooth as far. You're just so smooth. You keep throwing it too far. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> as, <I fall. laughs> as you fall down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got such a like floaty, slow putt. <laughs> Whenever you throw it, I'm like, there's no way that's going in. <laughs> nice putt. Star frame. Oh no. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> nope. Me and Connor threw an extra shot. Hey, it's good though. You so this is Isaac's mentality. You guys can see it right here right now. It's next shot, right? He he's so much of that next shot that he forgot what his last shot was. <laughs> <laughs> Hole twelve, par three, hundred twenty-two feet. Uh, this one pretty self explanatory. We're gonna go with a proxy, backhand, little turnover. I wish I had my zone, I'd totally forehand that. You got the razor claw. It's, we should have a counter on how many times I've said, I wish I had my zone. <laughs> you can do it. You I, feel like, I feel like it like is like every other hole at least. All right, zone. Okay, whatever, stop. <laughs> close. I think it was right over top of the basket. Yeah. Just find out. And... <laughs> hey guys, current score, um, three under, two under, one over, uh, myself, Isaac, Connor. Um, this is kind of where we like kind of guess where it's going. Hole 12. Um, I think the strategy is working, looking good, playing good couple bad shots in there for sure um but the plan moving forward is to keep that going um also who do i think has this course um honestly <laughs> isaac is not playing as good as i thought he would um he's very good putter um usually really good at approaches too so this is i think this is his course um so if i had to guess i think isaac's gonna win this one um take my streak away um but i'm gonna keep fighting i'm gonna be aggressive i'm gonna look good i'm gonna play good The button. Tapping's all around. All right. All right, hole 13, par three, 120. Pretty much the exact same distance as the last one. Just out there and to the right a little bit. Kind of the same shot same shape shot. too. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if I can execute it twice in a row. Go in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for a putt. All right, I kind of feel like I have to go back to the razor claw. I gotta find something for that zone, so. 
we'll give it another chance here. A little wobbly out of the hand. You yeah. see that? <laughs> it catches on my fingers. Or something. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Leave it, leave it. I'll get it, Brett. I'll get it. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, guys. As I rearrange my bag here, he got it mostly right. Quake's in the wrong spot. Um, I think for the winner, uh, me and Brent are tied currently, especially with that last hole. Um, kind of messed up a little bit. So I think I can take this down if I can keep pushing towards him. Um, Connor also has a good chance. He's only three back. Um, does not take much um, for someone to mess up here. So I think it's going to be a win this month. Let's go. All right, Brett. There you go. Nicely done, Brett. There it is, star frame. All right, hole 14, par three, 150. Straight up there. Boom, right there. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> what a bad kick. <laughs> open the door, it's like, ee, let's yeah. open it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I seen your idea. 150, Brent. I'm gonna do what I know. All right. And that's hit lines and make putts. We've <laughs> <laughs> been watching very make. long. I was gonna <laughs> say part is two totally holes ago. <laughs> and he got it, folks. Nicely done. Good throw. I don't know if you can see Connor's head. That's where he's at. Pretty good. Nice little uh, 12 footer, maybe. Pretty good. Also, something lives in here. You can see. It's a hole. There's a hole here. Tap in, tap in. Got you. Tap in. Cool. All right. Level 15, par three, 112 feet. Uh, basket straight up there. Nice little hyzer shot, I think. Let's try to get it around that group of three trees. Hi, hyzer. So bad. So bad. <laughs> what did that hit? Hit a house. <laughs> Ooh, inside. I think it'll be good. Though. Man, it's really close. Brent, I believe, has five under. Isaac with four under. And I with one under. Um, Brent and Isaac, they, it's a possibility they might have a playoff again. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm really hoping for Isaac to win. Um, just to just to cancel out Brent's win streak. Um, but we'll see. All right, gotta go down to a knee, give myself hopefully a little bit more room, run this putt, make it. Kind of keep uh, keep my uh, momentum moving forward. <laughs> Yep. There it is. Good job, Brent. Good putt, Brent. There it Ooh, is. Alright, another star frame, boys. They seem really excited about making another star frame. Yeah. <laughs> right, we got hole 16 here, uh, 159 feet, par 3 super tight gap here that we got to work with um, but if you hit that gap you should be pretty parked so uh, that's the goal we got the razor claw out here wishing I had my zone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Inside. 
Ay, ay, ay. Standstill might be the play. Yeah, it might be. I'm just so like, I feel like I have to. At least you'll know that if it doesn't end in muck, it's not going very far. Yeah. I got a little away right in. Right? I'm just going to make it. All right. I don't want my putter to get dirty. Might as well. Oh my I told you, word. dude. I told you. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no mud on my putter. <laughs> oh, what Ooh. a find. This is a pudding stone. You can tell by all the little rocks in it. Usually red and white. <laughs> How would that taste? <laughs> as good as that putt? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. A little splash down. <laughs> Oh man, he's clutch. He's clutch. Good putt, Connor. Par three, 216 feet. It's a doozy. <laughs> We've been seeing 100s all day long. So uh, we're pulling out the distance driver here for this shot. 216 intervention. I think you like that. I think I will. It wasn't quite, quite the, uh, thought I'd flip up a little bit more, but trying to keep it on hyzer so it wouldn't go too far. One zone. Punt approach. <laughs> Watch me now even make it there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's making it there. More like a hundred long. Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember, smooth as far. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get in there. There you go. Uh, yeah. Holy moly. Nice shot. It's just easy because uh, my forehand only goes about 200 feet. <laughs> Good what, 30 footer, 33, right oh, on the edge of the circle. Probably 33. He's got, he said he's got a little headwind. Apparently, doesn't like us talking. There it is. Oh. <laughs> That boy's not happy. <laughs> but this boy, he's looking good and playing. <laughs> let's, let's make this putt before. It. If I don't make this putt, we're going to cut that out and I'm going to do it again maybe later. But... Boom. Nicely Perfect. done. Nicely done. That gives me a two strokes lead on Isaac. So it's going to have to be something crazy that happens in... Uh, in the last hole here for Isaac to be able to tie it up, but that might have that might have put the game on ice. On ice cream after? Did that make you happy? No. No. <laughs> Ooh. Brett, I'm gonna pieces it, and you par it? Yeah. Good thing you didn't miss that part, huh? Yeah. A long ride home. <laughs> hate to see it. He's gonna be mad at me for a month. No, I'm joking. Isaac doesn't hold grudges like that. He's just mad at himself right now. Is all. He knows he he knows he plays better than this. All that practice for nothing. That's all right. You got this. Yeah. Hole 18, par four. So eagle opportunity here. Um, this definitely is a beginner course if it's 311 par 4. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to play it as that, um, just to uh, kind of make yeah, the score nice. look a little better. So 18 par 4, three, 311 feet straight up there, really nothing in the way. So uh, the only hazard is the road that's way over on the right side. So we should be good. Uh, but yeah, hole 18, 
Good round, guys. Good round. I did not flip up at all. Ooh, good throw. Get down. Get in there. Whoa! Oh. Oh. I still think it's like. I think you're short. Yeah, 20, 20 for Eagle, though. <laughs> At 311. <laughs> Wait, 300 for Eagle. Yeah, this is a par four, so. Oh. You, you could take an Eagle here, it's make that score like look a little better. Oh, go in there. Oh. That's definitely a tap in. For yeah, Eagle. drop in for Eagle. Nice, nice job. Nicely done. Yeah, but Brent could lay up for birdie and yeah, yeah, he's got the dub. That's all right. Still a really good throw. Uh, definitely a, a ways away from the basket, but I can still lay up. Try to get a, a nice tap in range here. So, so we're gonna go with a little stepper. Try to get nice and close to the basket. Oh yeah. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Nicely done, Brent. It's kind of, my my stepper probably looks ugly, but. <laughs> it's somewhat accurate. <laughs> All right, Connor's got a good putt for Eagle here. Oh, so close. All right, I know Isaac's sad he didn't win, but he parked this basket, 311 feet. Nice job. For this marker here. Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't think it has to be marker. It's just gotta be aimed. It's gotta be approved, though, so. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, as you've seen in the video, Brent took down the win again for the fourth time in a row. Uh, that's the third of the month. Um, we played really good. Um, Brent shot nine under, I shot seven under. Connor with the four under. Still really good scores but um this is a shorter course little little pitch and putt we'll definitely come back here for other videos ace Maybe. run challenge yeah there you go <laughs> sure. little, little fun things here and there um whole 17 just kind of i mean throughout the whole round kind of secured the deal but whole 17 is definitely it this course is a really great course for uh beginners um and for the ace run challenge that'll probably be a good one um it's here in marion um, they just put it up. They don't have key pads yet, but it looks like shortly they will have key pads. Um, but very well laid out and uh, really good course. So you guys knew the game plan the whole time. Look good, play good. Uh, I feel like we accomplished that. Didn't always look good with the uh, with the throws, especially them taking out my zone. I think really affected me today. Um, but I was uh, able to overcome that with some of the putts. Um, so was able to. I don't know. Just adapt i'm definitely gonna have to figure something out for the zone though because both those discs that i tried to throw today i just i don't think they're gonna cut it so i might have to get another disc or start looking for a different line other than the zone lines but um that kind of settles today's video um like isaac said i got four he's got one you guys can see it right here uh the next month's coming up uh we will be on a uh, disc golf trip for the next monthly match in june so excited for that video at a pretty awesome course. So stay tuned for that as well as some uh, other fun videos while we're on our trip. So uh, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Um, remember, stay positive and be humble. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my, my told you, word. Dude. I told you. Don't get it. <laughs>